Hey everyone, JJ Gravy here back with again with another uh, layout update. Um, been having a lot of problems with YouTube lately. Today is uh, June 7th, so if it's not posted by tonight or tomorrow, I will still be having problems. I've tried to upload the previous two videos, which is Rolling Stock and um, an update, which is really small, so I'm just going to do another one now. But if it's not uploaded soon, you'll know why. Um, and if you're listen to this right now then it's up been uploaded eventually but it's June 7th so just that'll be progress from then so anyway um, got some bench work done finally um, just small amounts um, a little small section here really sturdy um, messed up pretty big <laughs> right here this is um, supposed to be flush but I it got pushed when I um, put it in the mold and start screwing it got pushed so it's a little off but I might just sand this down a little bit so it'll lie flush but it doesn't really matter because it's not needed but I don't know I just want it to be even but anyway um, this is also where the uh, cardboard comes into play besides um, plywood which will eventually go over it and this is also the uh, duck under right here about skipped under that it'll go under here and then this um, where this uh, thing right here is there'll be a uh, a yeah, hallway basically which will lead up to the uh, stairs over there but yeah this will be a duck under it should be about two inches wide just enough for a track and a little bit of ballast probably no ballast but let's put that to there oops oh well anyway um got more bench work and this is where the uh, uh skipped over it again um cardboard comes in i made all these cutouts if you've been following my progress from the beginning you will have seen that um, in the beginning I made a bunch of cardboard cutouts. Well, this is where they come into play because this is basically how I make my, um, my uh, bench work, basically. Just lay it out in there, and then um, it all just comes into play, basically. Oh, oops, this is not needed. There we go. made a small brace right here, um, really sturdy because it was just a little bit uneven. But that split, even though I drilled it, I don't know how I split it before I drilled it, but also you may have noticed that um, this is gone. Oops. Um, we cut that off real flush. Used to be hold up this thing, but it doesn't really need it. Anyway, I put one of the extra 2x2x8s two by, two by two by under there. It's just 2x2x2 two by two by two now. But... Yeah, that's it was just the uh, leftovers of these. I cut maybe a half inch off about right here so it fit. So it's it doesn't need it because there's like barely anything on it and it's supported pretty good by real like long like four or five inch nails. I couldn't believe how long these things are. Not right here but in the back. Really long nails. Didn't even know they made them that long. I mean I know they did, but not for this kind of stuff. But anyway. That's besides the point. Um yeah, everything's real sturdy except right here. I forgot to drill a hole, so I'll probably eventually come back in like this angle and um, do it that way. But anyway, um, this is just screwed into the wall, no brace, except for here, which is right there. And this is almost level. It's it's pretty darn close. Same with this way. Well, not this way because this is a little higher, but it, it's pretty close. Um, I did want a uh, angle right here for the yard so I could shunt cars basically, kind of roll them into place, but I'll make this leg a little bit lower. Um, come on, focus. There we go. Probably put some shims underneath that one, but this one lays really flat, but eventually I'll screw it into here, and then it'll um, it'll go right into the bench work. But that's... Um, that's all for now, and if you want a uh, basis of how much we've gotten done, um, eh, which one? There we go. Basically, we got from here to here done. So we got this little section here. So not a good start. Good start for two hours of work. So I should be hopefully done my bench work by the end of this month. I'm hoping. Um, but there's a lot of setbacks, um, there's a lot of 
family stuff going on, summer, a lot of stuff like that. Family comes before all of this, so that's a big rule of mine. Family comes before everything, so yes. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll try to get a uh, time lapse, maybe some time when I'm working. But it's really difficult to set up a time lapse because there's I have no tripod and there's literally nowhere to set this of me just cutting wood basically and I'm moving so much back and forth back and forth, so not an ideal thing. But um, I might have a video eventually of how I do my bench work, um, kind of drill bits, what kind of um, screws I use, and just just stuff like that. Just some tips what I've learned. <laughs> Big tip right now is you have to drill first found out the uh, hard way on a lot of this. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's split here all the way down the middle. Uh, you can kind of see that one. All the way down the middle. That's why it's kind of... But it's not too important here because there shouldn't be too much weight and it's supported by all these screws. So Anyway, that's pretty much it. Drill before you screw. Um, that... No, no, I'm not even going to talk about that. Anyway... Oh my gosh. Anyway. <laughs> That's all. Thank you for watching.